Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com and today I want to talk to you about not being where you want to be in your life. Um, so to start off with, just to let you know, I do have a cold and a cough. I do apologise if at certain points in this video I do cough or sniffle through. Um, so, not being where you want to be in life. When you have something that you want, maybe it's a material possession, maybe it's a personal quality, um, maybe it's a certain career, maybe it's a certain level of a, a relationship, um, maybe it's just that vision of success that we all have um, kind of thrust upon us of you know the perfect house and the perfect you know the car that we're happy with and a great body and you know, the perfect career and everything is in balance and we look great and we feel great all the time. Um, not being where you want to be can be very frustrating. Um, I think people don't realise that when you have somewhere that you want to be in your life, it's going to take a lot longer than you wanted to to get there. Um, a lot of people who are successful, um, especially entrepreneurs, um, you know, take, for example, Richard Branson, and um, he started selling uh, records, um, sort of on the cheap, um, and for him to be an entrepreneur and to be at the level he is at today has taken him a long, long time, and not every um, business venture for him has been a success. Um, he's had to adapt and chop and change. Um, I know, for example, when he sold, I forget what it was, I think it was, I think it was Virgin Records when he had to sell them. Um, he said he, he literally wept. Um, but it was a move that he knew he had to make. Um, and, you know, other, other people as well, celebrities and sports stars, I mean, when you see them performing at the top of their game, everybody goes, wow. But the truth is, um, you know, they're taking literally years to get there, at least four, if not more years. And it's still tight on the line if they're going to get chosen to represent, you know, their country or their club in that particular event. And then, you know, whether they're going to do well because competition is so high. Um, and I think we forget that these people have many, many doubts and fears. Um, they're, they're all human. They're like us. And the difference is between people that are successful and people who are not successful is this, and it's very simple. I believe the difference is that people who are successful are not raised with a better quality of life, certainly. <coughs> a lot of entrepreneurs, um, a lot of uh, very successful celebrities, pop stars, Madonna for example, um, you know, I think she was one of six or something. She didn't have a very luxurious upbringing. She had a point in her life when uh, she was literally eating out of bins. A very little known fact about her. Um, and not because they necessarily had that um, in a push to, to drive them because of poor circumstances. I mean, a lot of people do have poor circumstances. Um, they don't have the great, greatest of lives. And, you know, they don't make what what is viewed in the western world as success um, because of that so it, it must be something different and I think it's this number one they have a, a vision they know what they want they don't know how they're going to get there um, but they know what they want even if it seems a million miles away they don't say no to their own dream that's number one and quite often the dreams that these people had you know people must have looked at them and thought you know you're crazy you know, you, you're never going to get there. Um, I think <coughs> the second thing is as well, they they don't give up. They don't give up. They, they focus so intently on the goal. They are prepared to make sacrifices. Because um, we can't do everything. Guys, we're, we're, we're human. Okay, we're, we're not, you know, time travellers. So, they don't give up on themselves, even when people tell them 
it's not possible and that includes people around them who are very close to them and who should, as Les Brown puts it, be the number one members in the encouragement club and they end up saying you can't do it and they become members of the discouragement club. Um, you know, Les, Les Brown is a motivational speaker, he does talk about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so it is frustrating and, and there will be setbacks. Again, I'm going to use Les Brown as an example. If you don't know who he is, just type him into Google. There is loads of stuff. Um, and I will try and add some videos into this playlist as well um, to make it a lot easier for you guys. Um, but again, he had a, a situation where he uh, bought a home for his, his mother, which was his dream, and um, he she moved in and um, he had to tell her one morning that they had to move out because he had brought a home with a lien against it which basically meant that he owed the bank extra money that he wasn't aware of and he couldn't afford and he could have done something called a title search to check if there was this, this thing called a lien against the property and he decided to take the seller on his word and obviously the seller was lying and um, he lost that dream it got taken away from him um, and even at that lowest point when he was taking the furniture back into their old house and he says he was crying um, even then he didn't give up he didn't tell himself that it wasn't possible he nearly did, got very close, but um, thankfully through um, good, some good support around him and um, some understanding people, he was able to, to build himself back up again. Um, and possibly that's the third thing that successful people do as well, to help them reach where they want to be. They don't beat themselves up and they surround themselves with people who are like-minded, who are you know, growing in and searching for that something more, who are yes people who dare to be positive in this world which seems at times so negative and so difficult and so full of struggle. So I just wanted to share that with you today. <coughs> As I say, um, if you are going through struggle and you just, you know there's another level and you just quite can't get there, um, you are not alone. So don't feel that you have to struggle on your own, everybody has pretty much gone through it. Um, don't be afraid to ask for support and if you ever need to contact me, um, there is a contact page on my website pipweekly.com. Again, we've just got loads of amazing blogs on there about these sorts of things, these sorts of issues that hold people back. Um, when we're all entitled to, you know, reach the life that we were born to reach, you know. Um, it's not meant to be a constant struggle and then you die. You know, there is there is more out there and it is possible that um, many people have come some incredible odds um, to reach their dream and if they can, you know, it's possible for you to. And I, I really believe that and I really believe that for myself as well. I'm not where I want to be. Um, my dream is sometimes gets a bit fuzzy, I sometimes get a bit confused. Um, I don't have the answer to things that I feel I really need to have the answer to. I can't ask people because I don't think I'll know the answer either and I think it would be confusing and um, it's not easy, it's not easy. But um, I think the answers do come in in due time when it is the right time. <coughs> so again that's all from me. Um, once again, feel free to join me either here or on my website, pigweekly.com. And until next time, you take care. Bye now.